Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the 2011 Farah Energy Ball. I'm Ron Bartek, president and co-founder of the Friedrich Sataxia Research Alliance, Farah. Thank you so much for joining us tonight as part of the team that will treat and will cure Friedrich Sataxia. Tonight, we'd like to begin by introducing you to some special families living with F.A. Right now, obviously, you know, Gavin's running around having a good time and knows nothing. Um, he knows that his energy level isn't what, you know, other kids are, I don't think, but... I think all he knows right now is he's a little bit different from the other kids. He can't keep up with it, and he tells us that. This, this came from the monster truck. Gavin was five when he was diagnosed. He was just diagnosed January 13th of this year. Um, so it's been a very crazy five months, I would say. Ups, yeah, downs. Very emotional. Very emotional. As many of you know, Friedrich's ataxia is a debilitating, life-shortening, degenerative neuromuscular disorder that gradually robs individuals of their ability to walk and diminishes their ability to talk, see, and hear. Our patients also often experience diabetes and very serious heart disease. I, I take my, my days like day by day. I don't wanna think about the future. Sam but is my older could, daughter, she's 24, and she was diagnosed at eight, uh, the first of two being diagnosed. You know, she was a soccer player, basketball player, avid horseback rider by the time she was five. So it was a little, you know, a little bit of a shock. Um, I'll never forget that day, April 13th, um, 1995. She sat my mom down and wrote on a piece of paper, free rags of taxia. And my mom said, what the heck is this? Can you spread your fingers real wide apart? Alex was... Uh, actually diagnosed by the time she was six or seven, I think mostly because you were looking for it. Um, Alex, her dream by the time she was diagnosed was to be a dancer. During this past year, we've seen tremendous progress in our worldwide effort to treat and cure F.A. In May, Farah hosted the world's largest scientific conference for F.A. in Strasbourg, France. In a truly remarkable show of full collaboration, 200 scientists from 15 countries spent three full days presenting exciting new research and sharing their insights among their labs. Farah believes these forums provide the real-time knowledge exchange we need to accelerate research and development so it moves at what Tampa Bay hockey fans would call lightning speed. The scientific conference um, held in France this year allowed us to bring together researchers from all around the world and all different disciplines. Researchers working on the gene, researchers working on mouse models, and to have researchers come together in this way where they share all the information from all different aspects of research gets everyone thinking in a slightly different way. Our total global effort is also evident in the expansion of our collaborative clinical research network in Friedrichs Ataxia, now to 12 centers internationally. This CCRN expedites the movement of research from the laboratory to the patient. It also provides FA patients with access to the most current clinical care available. By the way, your generosity at last year's 2010 Energy Ball was a significant factor in the CCRN's progress. Farah had the foresight to begin funding this in its early forms really almost a decade ago with the early studies at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and then moving on to expand to more and more sites worldwide. This is a project which is really seen in very few other diseases but which is looked upon by other, other disorders and groups as the epitome of the way clinical research should be designed. The Clinical Research Network allows us to move forward more efficiently and more quickly. Um, the network's set up so that each time you start a new study, that ramp up time isn't as long. We have also seen great promise in our new drug trials this year, particularly of the drugs that target the energy producing part of the cell. A0001 um, is a drug that targets mitochondrial function. 
And in FA, we know that the mitochondria are kind of under attack. They don't function as well as they ought to. And so this is a way to help that part of the cell function better. These compounds were really developed with the help of FARA over the past six to ten years or so. Without FARA, they would not have come forward. So they really are new in their drug forms. Positive data from these trials have proven that targeted drug therapies have the potential to make a real difference in the lives of thousands. The drug trials being planned for later this year are our very best shots on goal so far, and with your generous help, they will find the back of the net. Honestly, for, for quite a while, I, I think I was protecting myself by not, tr I never truly thought we were gonna get there because I wanted to protect myself from big letdown. But in the past few years, there's been such tremendous advancement in research and I see the results. I mean, like I was saying with the H001 study, there's a potential treatment right there in my hand. And, and I truly believe without a doubt we're going to get this one and we're going to find a treatment and a cure. There's many, many new drugs coming down the line that seem very promising and we just really pray that it's soon enough for him. Such life-altering breakthroughs in Friedrich's Ataxia research are made possible by scientific collaboration, the passionate will of parents and patients, and the generosity of supporting corporations and individuals just like you here tonight. For Farah and for all people with FA, I think the future is very helpful. And I think we're doing all the right things. To think these people are putting together this amazing function that can raise money and help find a treatment for us and others. There's so many other children out there just carrying this burden of FA around with them that just shouldn't have to. It's, it's a horrible disease and they should be playing like every other kid. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yay. So a special thank you to the people of Tampa Bay for being our flagship city in the global effort to treat and cure Friedrich's ataxia. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you for your generous support and welcome to the 2011 Vera Energy Ball.